Yo, what up guys? Towels here with another Project Diablo 2 video, this time coming to you from Season 9 Anarchy. What a wild start to the season. We're just one week in and I've got so much to catch you guys up on. In this video, I'll be talking about my season start, sharing some loot highlights, hitting a big, big slam session where I'll be finally slamming my F Doombringer, my Rathma D-Clone Slayer weapon extraordinaire. So huge one there. Definitely stay tuned for that. Also a big channel update. We've hit 500 subscribers. Totally crazy to see. And you guys have been so supportive along the way. I really hope to keep this up and keep seeing y'all in game as well. And then another thing to note, I love how popular this season has been. We're seeing like four or 5,000 players and things that it's really great to see. And I'm super happy that uh, things seem to be going well. So here's a few highlights I was able to capture along the way on my Lightning Sork Sanctuary Charge Paladin and now my Fizz Charger as well, which I completed Decloned and Rathma with. After that, I'll go into the season start, talk about the journey through week one, and then we will get into the big, big loot and slam fest session number one for season nine. Here we go. All right, hope you guys enjoyed some of those clips. Did want to talk a little bit about my season start so far as well. So I've made a lot of my high runes this season farming uh, Nihilus charms and Tainted Worldstone shards. But this being the first time I've really run Declone and Rathma for profit at all, I gotta say the margins are kind of slim. For me, at least, the materials were hard to afford early on and dying once each on Declone and Rathma on like day six really set me back for example like it was a bummer but some luck turned around and the next night i blind slammed a 20 res annie for plus two skills so yeah this game man i mean really it is a roller coaster so it was a huge hail mary and we connected big boys so i was able to sell it and get my economy back going again so yeah if you're interested in trying your luck at all there is a big market out there for nice annies so over to my sorceress now, Here. this season start was very smooth where I luckily dropped a bunch of like Mal's Ists, got two ums from Hellforge, and I was able to save all of that for the most part to gear up my paladin because you can see how even now her gear is pretty atrocious. Like even so, um, Arcane, Claw Viper, Temple, and Countess were all really good to me, especially whenever those zones were corrupted. However, 
I did not want to compete for Sork Skillers. So it was around this level 28 skills or so that I kind of just figured, you know, I'm running the LOD content really well. I don't need to compete for those charms. So for the Lightning Grand Charms, Lightning FHR, etc., etc., because I was already planning on, on running Charger as my main. Actually, it was on day two when I saw this F Doombringer hit the market that then I decided to start my charger. It was listed clean for Vex, and that one from the highlight in the beginning of the video got me the goods. I then was able to have the fortunate luck to find a puzzle box and to hit four open sockets, baby. My puzzle luck has been impeccable this season, which is such a nice feeling. So yeah, this is the sword you've seen in my last two videos, showing my day two D clone and day six Rathma kills, which are both personal bests for me. So an F Doombringer is an item that I've had my eyes on since the very start of the season. And I want to pull up the trade site really quickly, just to show some tips on how to track the items you want. So if you're familiar with the basics of the site already, you know you can set up your filters over here to track items that you're interested in seeing. And you can do that based on the selections down below. But what folks might not be aware of potentially is the filters that are now able to set your auto notifications directly to your Discord account. So these notification toggles means that anytime attack rating string of ears, for example, uh, hits the market, then I will get a notification in my Discord messages automatically. And so to do that, you can go into your settings over here. and see your notification settings where you can turn on and off your chat and market notifications, but also your Discord ID, which you can find by copying your user ID inside of developer mode in your Discord account, and then pasting that into here to receive your automatic updates, which just lets you um, have a better chance of being you know, the first one to go see a new item hitting the market and potentially getting ahead of the competition. And so the second tip that I wanna share is one that will get even more useful as the season goes on if you're a hoarder like me. What I want to show is the stash view for creating trades. So when you go to create a trade, a lot of people start at the default view over here, which is similar to finding trade items as well. But if you scroll all the way down and click on stash view, you get a very different layout, right? So from here, you're able to select your account, your character, and then boom, you see the whole layout of your character, the inventory, you can even check out your mercenary, and then if you can see it, this stash view right here. So now you've got both your personal page as well as all of your shared pages laid out exactly like you've got them. So yeah, you're able to as well um, use this search bar right above it to start popping in item names and getting the highlights of exactly where they are located in your uh, stash. So incredibly helpful. Like for example, look at this crazy and Dario's visage that I've got. So this increased max life slam of 6% and boxed for two sockets. It's really great for bossing. So a lot of difficulty one and difficulty two runners are mostly stuffing jaw runes into each socket. So this 6% max life is actually better than the 5% from a jaw and making this Andy's really nearly perfect to be honest. So yeah, I cannot complain about my lack of slam luck because let's be honest, my puzzle box luck has been impeccable. So now I've got this insane Leorix as well, which I used on my sacrifice build, which I'll show a tiny clip of exactly how satisfying it is to play that build, but I have to make a lot more tweaks before I consider it true. So, yep, there's some very satisfying corpse explosions going on here where it tags onto the end of your attack, which is magical physical damage and actually depends on the amount of overkill damage you give to the target. So if a mob has say 10 health remaining and you hit it for 1k damage, you would add about like 990 damage to the explosion. Something like that. The numbers are just crazy. But it's definitely a cool build and one thing that I will go go back to exploring more as well. So now on to the loot. We're gonna go over some craft sessions, leap slam sessions. Um, we already hit the trading tips, and so, yeah, absolutely stay tuned, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Alright, so starting off with the crafting, we're going to do some brilliant crafts on some fast bases over here, maybe some of these up here as well, uh, and then we've also got blood, and then if we run out, uh, bountiful crafts. 
uh, for the rest of these weapons here too. Um, and then for the slams, got a bunch of uniques and sets over here. Some pretty interesting pieces, uh, decent ones here. Uh, but a lot of things still being early season that just have a little bit of potential. I am slamming a lot of rare belts just because a two max all red slam can be really good without that many other stats. This one in particular is actually quite a good roll for a uh, Rathma belt. So 17 faster hit recovery, 65 to life, 27 poison res is very relevant along with the 25 PLR. So 25 PLR is the most you can get on a belt. Okay, one thing I just realized though, it has 185 strength requirement, so it's basically a no-go. You can get crazy health pools, but uh, what I really need then is a crazy ass slam on this one here. So yeah, it would really be EDDS. That would be insane. Or ED flat AR. Both, both really good slams. Yeah, it would be excellent to have this uh, and try some of the higher difficulty ones again. All right, let's get to it. So we'll start off with the fast crafts. Up in there, looking mostly for amp, IAS, and big ED. Not quite high enough with the enhanced damage just yet. 222, no repair or anything. So yeah, no good. Low ED. Man. Cycling through a lot of low ED items here. No good. Let's try these. 50 IAS, only 100 damage. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, a little bit um, of bad luck on the crafting front, but we can still see there's a lot of items to slam. So I've got this page and then a second page over here. Uh, probably going to filter through some of these. Not necessarily every single item needs to be slammed, but we've got a good number to go. So uh, some of these armors up at the top, we can start bringing those down. Um, this druid caster shield, not actually good. And homunculus. I think I'll hold off on the belts for now. I definitely want to get to each of those. Uh, and again, just trying for that 2 max all res slam. Especially that one. Uh, 15 deadly strike grave palms. Some LLD options here as well, like that patriarch. Um, Endless Hail, I forget exactly which bow build this is for, but there's something out there that can use it. Okay. Getting started. Ouch. One socket, back to back. Two socket, Elder's Armor. Interesting. Max life on the skin of the Viper Magi. FHR on the second skin of the Viper. Ooh. Interesting brick on the Homunculus. Okay, so it's highlighted for Poison Strike. It's got five Poison Strike. 28 all resist and a two socket slam. Okay, that's potentially pretty good. Don't actually know. I'm gonna have to check with Necro Discord, but yeah, we'll see. So continuing on, uh, we've got this G-Face, slammed with max cold res, uh, frost burns, all res, nice, seven all res on those frosties, uh, second pair, uh, frick, okay, 220 bow gloves, another brick, this one with life, okay, demon hide boots, uh, additional cold res on that, so still basic tri res. The Bountiful Axe that I just bricked, okay? Endless Hail, again, I don't remember exactly what this is for, but that Blizzard on Striking, I think, can be used for a prop build. 
Not with one socket, though. Okay. Laying of hands. Hey. 15 pierce. 15 pierce is perfect. That's also anti-perfect on its demon damage roll, though, unfortunately. So, uh, let's move these over. we we'll have some more to go. Okay. Yep, we got that Patriarch, so again, some like LLD stuff. Ouch. Flame Bellow, gone. Spirit Shroud, gone. With faster run walk. Oh no, that's actually a good slam on that. Grave Palms. Oh, 38 to life, 15 deadly strike. Not bad at all. I like that quite a bit. I'll probably be using that. Um, see if I can fit it into my build. Alright, 10 FHR on these. MF boots, only a single res. Uh, G face again, two sockets. Okay, that's helpful. That's totally usable. Probably give it away in a free game, uh, but I'll hold on to it there for now. Interesting. Patriarch, LLD option. Nope, no sockets. Okay. Uh, belts at the end again. So Bartux. Hey, three socket Bartux. Um, interesting. Alright. Blackhorn's face. Oh, all res. That's pretty good too. That's actually useful for Uber Trist. Um, Uber Mephisto. And you can use that yourself or on a Merc. Okay. Venom Ward is gone. PDR. Amazon skill. This would have been cool in Craft League, I think. But, alright. Alright, so we'll get to the next page now. And start off moving some of these over. Some pretty good stuff in this page as well. You can see we'll get started with this G-Bane. Mid rolls. Two open sockets. Best one I've got so far. Alright. Stone Crusher. Oof. Brick MPK. Gotcha. Four socket Black Hades armor. Really nice one to be using actually. Ooh, fail. Okay, still can't slam mine then. Mav armor, two sockets. You really want the three on that one. Plated belt, another one looking for plus two max all res. 10 FCR, no, not that good of a brick. Okay. Plus two arcanes. Saw this one drop in the beginning of the video as well. Oof, brick, brick, brick. Okay. Uh, random throwing spear could be interesting. Not with, not with the brick though. Goblin toes hitting MF. Nope. Um, Halibirds 14 PDR. Brick. Okay. Another G face. It's number three. Another two sockets. Okay. And then another Halibirds. This one slams for poison res. Nah. Okay. 23 deadly strike on this two throw. Nah. Hitting cold res. Okay. Demon hide boots. Uh, indestructible in defense, not helpful. Um, Widowmaker, not even sure what I'm going for there. Got minus requirements though. And another rare belt. Kind of similar to the others. Um, okay, 20 FHR. Not, not great. Okay. So we can include these rings and amis now. Uh, plus two ondols, now with light res. Cyclopean on casting for Warcry Barbs. Enhanced defense. Uh, these gauntlets that are interesting even without IAS or anything on it. Tri res. Okay. Um, the melee ring. We'll just keep going. More random rings and such. There's a six fire absorbed dwarf star, 43 to life. 
It's got six flat PDR now. Not great. Not the one you're really looking for. But it survived. Atmos Scarab did not survive. Ooh. Oh. Mm. One lightning skills, 20 FCR. Really not good. Uh, but it tried. You can see how hard it tried. All right. Want it to work. And another Atmos for gold find. Okay. Okay, we'll give things another quick scan. We've got what we've got over here. All right, my main page, uh, this FBR, I will replace with life. Okay, without any further ado, no more stalling. Here it is, here's the big one. It's the Doombringer, gotta do it, it survived. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, oh, all right. This, that's the perfect, oh wait. I got a perm. Got a perm. Got to perm that for sure. And we're back and it is permanent now. Remember to save and exit. And oh my God, that is the perfect slam. That is the one that I was looking for. Close second place, I guess, would have been ED and AR. Flat AR, a big one, like 250 AR or something would be really nice on it also. But oh man, ED. DS, Enhanced Damage, Deadly Strike, that is the one we wanted. Wow, I've had this item since day two. I puzzle boxed it for four, I took it to Declone in Rathma. I know I needed to slam it because in Rathma difficulty one, I didn't actually have the right amount of damage to really crush it, but now Oh my goodness, yeah. So, I mean, there's going to be some other gear updates I'm going to want to make. The Deadly Strike I just don't have a ton of. So High Lords and uh, Nos Coil going to be helpful, super helpful there. Um, but wow. Yep, I didn't want to spoil it earlier by hovering over it. You can see I've made a number of gear upgrades now. I've got the Deadly Strike over here and over here. I'm using a Blessed Aim Merc so that I am cap uh, very close to the cap. 73. If you didn't know, Blessed Aim, the skill, also comes with some deadly strike, and so choosing this Act 2 Mercenary can help you reach your uh, deadly strike or crit goals. Um, so definitely really good to have that. So yeah, that was it. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying Season 9. Obviously, I'm having a blast. Some of my friends as well. I know a guy who's had about 100 high runes of luck already, at least I would say actually. So shout out to Karth, shout out to Nut, Mighty, Dandy. We've have been having a great time on the Discord, uh, chilling and hanging out over there. But um, yeah, I'm planning on bringing a lot more content through the rest of the season. So as always, thank you guys for staying till the end. You guys are champs. Um, thanks for subscribing. Uh, Really looking forward to the to more from this season, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Catch you on the next one. Peace.